Ladies and gentlemen, Transport Fever. It is a basically an open TTD clone, except there is no multiplayer. At least not that I can find, so it's just you, so some people might find that a bit boring. But I find it pretty relaxing. It's pretty laid back and chill, and it's kind of just, uh, well, it's just one of those, like, quiet time games. So I thought I'd give it a quick look. Probably not, like, an official series type thing. I don't know. Unless people are, like, really super duper into it, you'll have to let me know on that. But I figure I'd just kind of do a quick overview, play a little bit of it, and just sort of throw it out there and see what happens. But in short, if you don't know what it is, um... You you move goods from A to B to manufacture stuff, and then you give the manufacturer stuff to cities so they can grow and prosper, so then they can eventually um, give you more money. Is that that's a pretty shitty explanation, isn't it? We'll just go to it, and I'll I'll just show you. We'll go into free game. I won't bother with campaign. That's basically just what this is. Uh, starting year 1850. That'll make things pretty good and interesting, I think. And medium difficulty, medium world size, medium raw train type, that'll be fine. Advanced menu was just for the mods, but bleh. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just fly right into it and I'll sort of just explain it as we go because it's really one of those games where if you describe it to somebody, it doesn't sound that interesting. But yeah, I'll just, I'll show you in a minute. And we're in. The world size here is actually quite large, a lot larger than the tutorial ones are, but uh, you can see there the outer edges. It's doable. We can make it work. You can do quite a lot with this. But I mean, there's stuff littered everywhere, and I'll explain what it all is. If you've played Open TTD, then you can probably just look at it and know, oh, I see what's going on here. But I'll pretend that you don't know what this is, and I'll sort of walk you through it. Um, the menu interface is pretty basic. This is just the achievements, the info panel, so you can pull up some just info things and all that. Nothing too fancy. This is for the lines. We'll be getting into that a little later. The railroads, the standard roads, the trains, buses, boats, and air. All four of these have the exact same menu within. It's basically just moving people, moving goods, and the depot where you assemble and send out and assign lines to the vehicles. And then we got train modification here, which I don't really know why you'd want to use. It be incredibly situational really because you can build like tunnels and all that and they get kind of expensive but souls are moving a mountain jesus look at this fucking place the hell man fuck that it's gonna be a pain in the ass to deal with okay so maybe maybe something like that will uh modify the train i, I don't know but uh I probably won't be doing too much with that not really Sure what these are actually. Hmm. The tutorial didn't go into any of that. God, this place is so fucked up. Random generation, you're silly. Uh, bulldoze here to get rid of stuff. I can just remove the entire city if I wanted to. Not sure why you'd want to do that. Seems like a waste. And that's that's really the gist of it. It's really simple and basic. The complicated part is trying to figure out what to do with the two million dollars that we've got here because the goal here is to make money. To make money, we obviously service cities and Boroughburg, an example. They need tools, food, and goods for their shopping facilities. They need, well, line usage for like putting places together with the lines and all that to improve population. That's probably the first thing we're gonna do. And then jobs, they need construction material, machines, and fuel. As far as I can tell, everybody needs the same stuff. I don't think anybody needs anything different could be wrong. It's looking just like they need the same stuff, just different amounts of it. Presumably based on population. Yeah. So we don't care about any of that because right now we only have $2 million, so we need to find something. Uh, something really quick and easy to do, like food. I'm seeing a couple areas for food right now, one of which being here along Godalming. So you've got all these places here that have the resource icons and arrow. I know it's really small and hard to see. Especially on mobile, I apologize. Uh, not a whole lot I could do about that. But we got this place that requires wheat, well, grain and or livestock, grain or livestock, and they make food with it. So we need to get grain or livestock from somewhere, presumably a farm, a nearby farm is over here. These guys thankfully don't require anything, they just kind of make grain or livestock. So it's a really easy thing. It's a very short track, it's just from farm to processing to city. Pretty simple. 
but as you can imagine, it also gets pretty expensive doing the uh, the road systems and all that jazz, trying to connect them up. So I'd like something a little closer. I'll just fly around real quick and see what there is to see. Found a nice spot down here in the corner. It is called Black Rod. It's a bit of an unfortunate shape, but it's in a very fortunate location because we have right over here a farm that produces wheat and livestock. And then straight over here, we have a food processing plant that takes in wheat and livestock and makes food. And then we can send the food directly to Black Rod, which they need for their commercial. So where's their commercial? Right along the main artery. So what I could then do is we'll eventually be setting up. I could go either train or I could go um, bus. Train would certainly be the way to go, but it gets very expensive. So we'll probably try bus uh, for cargo. So we would need to do um, yeah, just a small station. Ideally, without ripping apart too much. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting expensive because I'm ripping apart buildings, so let's go row just a small street. That'll be fine. 200,000. Yeah, gross. Uh, what about bulldozers? Does this work? Yeah, it works okay. So we could go... I don't think I could fit a street in there. Get rid of that 50k home. And if I put in, can I cram a depot in there right now? I don't think so. It doesn't give you too much leeway. No, okay, so I need to extend the road a bit. Just like that should be fine. It's not the quite same road, but it'll work. And then the bus station. Yep, just like that. Okay, and you can see there the highlight that I'm going after. Uh, highlighting buildings that are actually being affected by it. I'm pretty sure because food is a commercial requirement there, the blue buildings that we would need the blue buildings highlighted. So there we go. We'll deliver it here. It reaches everything. It's in some people's backyards, but they'll be fine. They don't care that much. And okay, it's only a small one. We can make it larger if we need to later on. I think small will be fine for now. All right, so that's that out of the way. We also need a stop up here by the farms. And then we'll need to stop uh, over here as well. And then I'll probably see about doing a connecting road. There is a bit of a hill here. It's not that massive. You can tell the number of lines and the thickness of the lines indicating the uh, the hill. It's not that bad here. It's really very minor. In fact, a uh, bit of a valley here that we could go through if we do that. So we'll, we'll play around with it. Actually, let's do that first. That'll sort of dictate where I go tram track didn't really matter I don't really need one so we'll just like no tram being for uh, inner city transportation of passengers and all that I imagine eventually the city will get quite large and that'll be a really handy thing so if we go this small whoops I'm up back roads back roads are even cheaper small country road they're very cheap speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour we're using horses that only go 15 kilometers per hour so this is definitely overkill but if we do that, 1.2 million, you can see there around this area, especially we're sort of digging into the train a bit. So if I use N and M to modify a bit, the height, 594,000 is still way too fucking much. And if I modify, yeah, the bridge type, it's still expensive as hell. So cancel that. Whereas if I do down here, 300,000. Ugh, God, it's disgusting. Surely there's going to be a way somewhere. What about here? <sighs> Two fields will be it. What the hell route are you pulling over there? The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Game. Six hundred seventy thousand. Yeah, it's it looks like this is going to be okay. Hold on, down here we got a little bit four hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. It's getting a little far away from that place, though. 
keeping in mind we're going from the farm to here, so I'd, I'd really like to have a direct route. If I could help it at all. This is a bit annoying. Trying to find like the perfect spot for it. It's just like, come on. Oh, there we go. 300,000 or so. Oh shit, that ain't too bad. That ain't bad at all. We'll spend 300,000 to put it down here. Gross, but that's... it is what it is. We cut into this a little bit. But, oh well. Sick of trying to find a perfect spot. So now, that I know where that is, we'll put our stations down. We'll go for a large station up here because it's probably going to stockpile a bit. And where's the highlight? It's going to be like, whoops. It's going to be that uh, far side of the intersection, isn't it? Okay, we got one there. Okay, we can put it over here, but just for safety. Because rounding error and all that shit, I don't want to... I don't want to put it, like, just on the extreme, just in case the game's like, no, I changed my mind. So we'll throw you just, like, whammo, right? Right there. 12k, that's fine. Large station, too, so it's a little more expensive. And then we'll put another one over here. This will also be a large station. Oh, at this point, we're pinching penny, so there you go, 26,000. That's fine, we have one and a half million dollars still. So that's our three routes. We'll be setting up our line to go to those three locations, but first we need to have somewhere for the buses to actually come from, and that is where the bus depot comes in. Look like this, and this works for both uh, passengers and cargo. It's just this is just where they come from. You can do either the road depot or the tram depot. We'll be going road depot because that's not a tram line. Tram uh, vehicles can't carry uh, cargo anyway. So we could throw it throw it right here. It's a pretty decent natural spot for it, I think. Right there. That's a that's a pretty nice spot right there. 11.5 thousand. That's nice. I like that spot. That's a good spot. Seen a lot of spots in my life. That's a good spot right there. Okay, excellent. So we'll select this. And this is where we buy the road vehicles. We'll do that in just a moment, though. Uh, actually, no, we'll do that now. We can do it now. We're not doing passenger yet, so ignore those. Uh, freight, or freight rather. These are basically the exact same. They haul livestock, uh, food. What about grain? Oh yeah, grain. Okay, yeah, so they haul everything. They both do. So either or, it doesn't really matter. They cost 2,000 per year, so they're dirt fucking cheap. We'll pick up like, I don't know, if I pick up 10, That'd be, yeah, just 22,000 a year. Like, 10's totally doable. Can I go with 10? We'll try 10. We'll try 10. And all 10 of these guys. A set line for all of them. A new line. And it will be... To here back down to here. God, I should really just connect that, shouldn't I? What would it cost if, what would it cost if I did that? 100,000. Ideally from like over here, so 100,000. Hundred grand. save a lot of time. Well, it wouldn't save that much time, actually. It'd save us this jog here. See, this is like the thing, like this game's probably like boring as shit to watch, but man, playing it? Oh, <laughs> it's strategic, a very strategic. We'll leave it like this for now. They're wasting a bit of time doing this run and then down, but otherwise they're just doing this run. Uh, I mean, it's not saving a whole lot of time. 
That'll be fine, I think. I'll leave it at that for now. That'll be fine. So, yes. So we've got Black Rod North, West, and Central. Central being where we're delivering this stuff. Black Rod North is the farm. So load, full load of anything. Full load of anything, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, pick up a full load, bring it on over. To West. If anything's available, load it. Otherwise, don't worry about it because you're just going to be sitting there until they finish processing everything. One wagon will get there, deliver their stuff. I don't think that'll be enough. And yeah, we'll just uh, load if available for now. That'll be fine. And alternatively, I could have uh, two separate lines going. One just being this and then one being that. That might be worth doing at some point but later on. So all those guys are doing that route. Yes, let's go into here, vehicles. They're all on line one. They all say cargo is just with a default suit, but they'll, uh, they'll fix in a minute. So for about half a million dollars, we got that set up. Let's go. Watch them funnel out and make sure everything works okay. It should be just fine. And because they're just horse drawn, it's, uh, it's budget, it's cheap, it's pretty simple. Is 10 too much? Is 10 even enough? I don't know. I never played much of Open TDD, so I don't really have the um, the intuition, I suppose. Traffic holding them up a little bit. Rap bastards, get out of here! <laughs> They're about to get you food. God damn it. Check out this convoy, though. This is fucking great. Sort of sitting here waiting for the farm to uh, make a little more. Or wait until a full load, so it's gonna, gonna be a minute, but that's okay. That means that it will sort of naturally sort of, so there's a little bit sitting there now. A little bit, a little bit, loading up with grain. There we go. And then you picked up uh, livestock. Waiting for the last bit of livestock. There's some grain for the next guy. Can we mix and match, I wonder? Was that a thing I could do? Mix and match. There you go. Keep that open. That's an interesting thing. You can see the frequency, the income, and all that. That's nice. I like that. Ugh, auto save. Meanwhile, we've got just this little line going. Just people waiting. And they come all the way down here. All the way along here. Here's the first guy, I think. Road Vehicle 5? I don't sound right, but... I must be, I don't think... Yeah, that's that's the front of the pack right there. So they picked up their business, they're heading on over here. If there's anything here, they'll pick it up, otherwise they'll just continue on. Yeah, because they have sort of a full circuit route, they'll be heading into the city. And got dropped off for 5,000. Not a whole lot. But uh, they'll come back to the city first, and then up to up here. Uh, so it's a little little inefficient that way, but for the time being, I don't really feel like dropping a hundred thousand for that. I mean, really? I mean, I guess, I guess I could. It's like right here. Let's do it off of here. Just in case the city feels like spreading. And that's just going to be expensive no matter how we slice it. Alright, fine. Just in case that road decides to do anything, I don't know how the game does it. But we'll build off of our own road. And that is a small country road. Should be just fine. No tram track. A uh, bit expensive, but that means that our lines route should update. Yeah. So let's go new line. Line two will be just that to that. Line one will take out Black Rod Central. Whoops. There, so you're just a two of them. Right, so you're just back and forth, back and forth, and you guys are back and forth, back and forth. So line one 
full load of any at Black Rod North. That's a farm, right? So wait until you get a full load of anything or all. I think if I do full load all, you'll mix and match, which is just fine. And you deliver it off to West. A load if available. There won't be anything to load, though. Hopefully I tell you, like, don't actually load. Like, please don't load. Please. <laughs> That'd fuck things up if you did. And then line two, west. Full load of all, just whatever there is there. It's only going to be the food anyway. And then deliver it to Black Rod Central. Load if available. There won't be anything to pick up. That's where you're dropping off, so it should be fine. So, we'll have... Take, uh... One... How can I... Modify this? Left-clicking just opens that. Oh, I just have to... Yeah, okay. Ugh, you're not carrying anything, so you can switch over to line two. You're carrying a livestock, so hold on. Livestock, what do you got? Livestock. Run nothing, so you are on line two. Livestock, grain, nothing. Okay, so line two. And line two. There we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then four. That might be all right. And then spam escape to close all that shit. Nice. So we're making money on line one, which is great. Line two won't be making money until we actually get the deliveries done. And they're just taking the shortcut route to Eddier first, and then they'll back and forth. Right, so there we go. There's all that stuff stocking up. That is food for line two, waiting at station. There's this guy who just picked it up. He's on line two. He's got his four food. He's heading back. So he'll drop that off and we'll make money and make the city happy because they're finally getting the food that they want. And in a very, very small nutshell, that's the game. <laughs> that's about as simple as it gets, however, next to adding like maybe a transport line or something. But it's very laid back, very chill. Uh, everything takes a little bit of time to get going, so it's definitely not one of those games to really watch, but playing it, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of strategy. It's sort of hidden strategy too. You wouldn't you wouldn't think it, but it really is. Meanwhile, these guys are like way overloaded on stuff and things. Look at that. We got a couple freight containers going on of stuff. Jesus. We need so many more uh so many more people. I mean, really, a train would be the way to go, but those are expensive. Like, those are really expensive. The uh, the cost over time for the railroad would probably be like fifty to sixty thousand every month, which it adds up. Two, three, four, five, six, and then all of you guys are line one. I could also set up uh, bus stops for Black Rod and Westbury and then uh, North Pertherton. But that'd be a really long route to deliver not many people, so I don't think it'd really be worth it. Bring that back up. What's this? List of depots. This is a uh, list of industries. Most of these we're not really doing. The farm's limit is almost reached. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, autosave. We're fixing that, though, in a minute. Loads of jobs. There's Black Rat. That's where we're at right now. That's what we're working on. They get what they want. Sort of. 7%. They're also going to need generic goods and tools. Tools aren't too terrible. That's mostly, I think, just steel. Uh, let's see here. Where can we find tools? There we go. There's some. They are wanting. Oh, yeah, okay. So you guys can either just do a shitload of planks or steel 
to make tools so you can make wood tools which is kind of cool or steel uh, if you see steel it'd probably be the way to go however there is lumber right fucking here so if we get an area that gives us wood we can turn it into lumber send it to here and get the steel where do we got lumber though there we go right here there's actually two places right here for lumber so we could do a shitload of lumber send it on over uh probably via a fairly expensive bridge over to here turn it into lumber and then another bridge over here and uh make tools and then the tools would probably be going to penzance first and eventually this crazy route around or if we could deliver this stuff from here we could deliver it here or here actually either one of these places probably here for lack of bridge though if we do here that means the route to uh, Black Rod is going to be a lot shorter. Fucking convoy, look at that. They're doing it. They're doing it. We got rid of one of the shipping containers at least. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>